What is going on guys? Welcome back for another tutorial in DaVinci Resolve. My name is AJ Sharma and today we're going to be checking out how to zoom in, hold and then zoom out. This effect is incredible, especially used right and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this step by step. Let's get into it. So I'm in DaVinci Resolve 17 and to get started I want to be adding one of my clips into the timeline, which I've already done, for example. Now let's begin by positioning the time marker to where we want to start the zoom. So I'm going to just do it from here. Now we need to go over to Inspector and then under Video, we, we want to click the diamond icons next to Zoom and Position, okay? And this will mark the start of the keyframe of the animation. Now, bear in mind to see your keyframes, just click on the diamond icon and it should bring up all of your markers. So next, let's position the time marker to where you want your clip to be zoomed in by. Let's say here. Now let's go over to inspector under video. And now we're gonna do the same thing click the diamond icon for zoom and position. Now what we want to do is zoom into the part where you'd like. Just like that. Now this will create an animation between the start and the finish of your keyframes. If you're loving this video so far, subscribe to the channel. Let's get back to it. Okay, let's play it back and see how it goes. Great, we have an awesome looking zoom in effect. We figured out how to do a zoom in. We've got the original frame and then it zooms in and then it just holds, okay? Now, how do we zoom back out? Here's what I'm gonna show you. So first of all, we need to drag our uh, time marker to the position where we want to zoom back out or commence the zoom back out. Now, I'm gonna pick here. And what we wanna do is simply go ahead over to Inspector under video, and we have a zoom position and the two diamonds. We want to click on these two diamonds again, but what we're gonna do now is we're going to double click on zoom X, I'm gonna put one. Double click on zoom Y, I'm gonna put one. And then for position X, we're going to put zero. And then for position Y, we're going to put zero. Okay? Right, that's that. So, what happens now is we'll zoom in and then what happens is it automatically zooms out now. Instead of holding, it zooms out. But maybe we want to hold the zoom in for a second or two and then zoom out. To do that, you simply click on this second keyframe, this second diamond and you're going to hold Alt and then drag it just a second over. So now you got four. You have four keyframes. So now what we're going to do is play it back and see what happens. So we have the original frame, then it zooms in. And then it will hold that frame and then it would start zooming back out and then return to the original frame now that's what we want but what if we wanted to adjust the holding times so we can actually move these keyframes around i want to move this the zoom in animation closer but then have the hold longer and then zoom out closer now let's see what happens. So we play 
and then it zooms in faster but then holds that frame for a longer period of time and then it would zoom back out faster and then hold the original frame returning and there you have it that's a beautiful zoom in and zoom out effect very simple and very easy to do so how did you find the effect i hope you learned a lot let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed this video and want to see more of these epic tutorials i love creating them and i love teaching everyone else how to do some epic 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 videos using davinci resolve so see you in the next one peace